So one of the many Make a Difference Foundation golf days that I did, I was approached by a guy called Dominique Sylvester to do some family portraits for him at Steenberg. So that Sunday afternoon when I went there, uh, afterwards he said to me, so how fit are you? I said, well, fit enough to take your photos. He said, well, on top of Kilimanjaro. I said, when do you guys want to climb? He says, no, we're leaving on Friday. I said, I'm in. Um, that was probably one of the most incredible journeys of my life. So I went to buy a pair of hiking shoes and that was all I had. And uh, I remember Dominique still said, you know, Tace, you bring your sense of humor and your camera and I'll take care of the rest, which he did. Um, we flew the Friday morning with a private jet. It was myself, uh, Francois Pinar, Dominique, Henny LaRue, Johan Steiger, who all played in the 95 World Cup Springbok squad, who won the World Cup. And then a legend of the British Lions, a guy called Scotty Gibbs. Great sense of humor, tough as nails, and uh, one or two other friends. So I think we were about eight in the party. And we flew by private jet. Uh, we stopped at Victoria Falls, where we did a helicopter flight first. Uh, quite dangerous flying right into the gorge and over the waters and after that we had lunch on the on the river on a on a river boat which was spectacular we arrived quite late at uh, at Kilimanjaro the foothills of Kilimanjaro and the town just outside Kilimanjaro and that's when i realized i'm completely out of my comfort zone i didn't have mosquito poles i didn't have a walking stick i anyway i have my camera and my sense of humor and Francho was an incredible leader. The first, the next morning we started hiking. I was quite nervous. I struggled a bit. I think I had a bit of a flu. So when I got to the first overnight hut, Francho still looked at me and he said, you're not going to make it. You're not going to take our pictures on top of Kilimanjaro. And that's the type of motivation I needed. So got up and went to bed quite early. I still found a pink slipper of my daughter in my sleeping bag, which was quite, quite emotional. But anyway, we started hiking the next morning, I felt better and luckily you poly poly so you walk really slowly so I managed to keep up. Um, I think on the third day one of the two members of the, of the party had to bail because of uh, not adapting to the altitude which was quite sad. And then the final day we stayed in, a, in, in Kibo hut and we got up at about 11 uh, evening and we started climbing at 11.30. It was snowing lightly. So luckily no wind. I think it was minus 25 when we started walking in the dark. So I didn't take much pictures in the dark. But we got to the summit the following morning at about 7.30, 8 o'clock and it was just spectacular. So very fortunate I was the, probably the first guy to take pictures of the, it was in 2009 so I took pictures of the Lions jumper uh, with the Springbok jumpers on top of Kilimanjaro and the Springbok flag. So I was really proud to, to have done that and to make it to the top. I won't talk much about how I got down, most of it sliding on my backside. Luckily, thanks to the snow, I managed to get down. But, you know, just to interview Francois and Henny LaRue and these guys on top of Kilimanjaro and to take the pictures which was splashed in the newspapers uh, was just something incredible and really set me up for, for, for bigger things to come. You know, I was lucky to have some of the stuff published. I had an article written about it in my local newspaper as well as in one of the De Burgers uh, wrote a, a page about it. So that set me up as a photographer. You know, if you can claim to have climbed Kilimanjaro with someone like Francois Pinar and Henny LaRue and Scotty Gibbs and the boys, uh, that's pretty, pretty awesome to do. Uh, we flew back safely and just one of the most memorable uh, weeks of my life to, to have summited Kilimanjaro which has always been a dream. I'm quite adventurous so I like stuff like that. Uh, I had to draw strength from just about everything I've done in my life to make it to the top because I was completely not prepared for, for the hike up and uh, finished off on quite a high. Francho was quite rushed to get back because he had to cycle with Matt Damon. So that was quite nice so we got back Friday evening Saturday morning at 1 a.m. and on Sunday Francois cycled the, the Cape Argus with Matt Damon and I was lucky enough to do all those pictures as well. So a great one for the memory bank thanks to photography.